Welcome back to our series on how to build a professional e-commerce site using WordPress, WooCommerce, and the WooStore theme. My name is Adam with UploadWP.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, right hand sidebar uh, widget section as well as the uh, footer widgets. Um, but before we go there I'm going to quickly recap what we've done up to this point. <clears throat> um, in the first uh, few videos we set up our product categories and then we added um, four uh, products here and then in the last video what we did is we went ahead and we set up our home page featured uh, image slider right here so if you haven't already watched those videos I would encourage you to go back and watch those first um, before uh, we go into customizing the widget section um, the site that we're building here is our test site worldcuptees.com and it's basically just a niche uh, soccer t-shirt site um, <clears throat> so now we are ready now that we have uh, products on the site we have our uh, home page uh, slider working we're ready to go ahead and start custom customizing our right hand sidebar we do that via the widget section so <clears throat> let's go ahead and log into the WordPress admin and then go to appearance and widgets and you'll notice that uh, there are a bunch of WooCommerce specific widgets that you'll find in here that are just here by default. Uh, one of the great things about the WooCommerce um, engine is that it, it, it inherently has built in a bunch of uh, custom widgets that um, really will that you can use to enhance your site. So obviously I'm not going to go through each one of these because the video would be way too long. But I would encourage you to spend some time and just take a look at all the widgets that are that are in here that you have to work with. Um, and play around with the, with them and see you know what works best for your particular site. I'm going to keep it very basic in this video, just because it's for demonstration purposes. But I want to point out that uh, there are a ton of custom WooCommerce specific widgets that you'll find uh, when you go to set up your widget section. But let's just start uh, by setting up the right side right here. Um, and what I like to do is I like to just have the product categories and we're just going to drag that widget and drop it in this primary widget box right here so if we scroll down and find um, let's see here WooCommerce um, let's find the product category one there we go WooCommerce product categories here's a widget so we're just going to take it drag it up to the top <clears throat> and drop it in the primary widget section I'm just going to save it and then if I go out to the site and refresh the page We'll see it show up right here and what that does is that just adds some navigation um, to the site uh, for uh, the visitors to be able to find products easier they can search by my product categories and uh, the other thing I like to put on the right hand sidebar uh, are my social media uh, widget or icons I guess Facebook Twitter uh, Google uh, Plus so to do that if you scroll down and find the Woo uh, subscribe slash connect widget right here. Um, just go ahead and drag that up and drop it in right here. And the uh, Woo subscribe connect widget is actually set up in the uh, Woo store theme options section. So if I go in to Woo store theme options, uh, you'll see as we scroll down here. Oops so we're in Woo Store theme options right here subscribe and connect this is where you would go ahead and you know paste in the uh, URL to your Facebook account your Twitter account um, your Google uh, Plus page and so forth your YouTube channel whatever you, whatever social media accounts you have set up so you actually set your set that up in here but then when we're in the widget section you just go ahead and grab that Woo subscribe and connect widget and uh, paste it in or and drag and drop it into um, the primary widget section underneath WooCommerce product categories and then if we go out to the site and refresh the page we should see our social media icon show up and there we go so we have an email opt-in box that would go to our MailChimp account um, and then we have our RSS, our Twitter, our uh, Facebook, YouTube and our Google Plus icons um, so that's what I like to start with for the right hand sidebar I like to keep it as clean as possible um, and this is just a demonstration our demo site so I'm not going to go too crazy but I would encourage you to, to really take a look at what's in what's available um, 
you have Woo Ad Space widget if you wanted to, you know, put ads on your site or AdSense or whatever you wanted to do. Um, you have WooCommerce best sellers, display your best selling products. Um, layered navigation you could put on the right hand sidebar which is like faceted search. It allows uh, your customers to really drill down and uh, find products they're looking for. Um, there's even a WooCommerce price filter widget uh, which is like a sliding widget. It's like a slides from left to right uh, which allows your customers to shop based on their price range. So I mean that's really cool. Um, you don't find a lot of these widgets are uh, provide functionality that you would have paid big money for uh, just a couple of years ago had you you know had a, a e-commerce site built on a custom platform you would have they probably wouldn't have have been available actually this type of functionality so um, top WooCommerce top rated products uh, WooCommerce shopping cart if you want to show the shopping cart product tags uh, recent reviews uh, it goes on and on like I said I could spend a ton of time on these widgets my suggestion <clears throat> is to start out with um, the WooCommerce product categories widget on the uh, primary right hand sidebar as well as your social media icons start with that and then come back in here and see all the different uh, widgets that are available to you and play around with them and uh, see what works best for your site. You'll probably find as you, uh, your, as you go on and your site matures and it gets larger and larger, more products, more categories, you will go ahead and probably uh, tweak the widgets uh, many times. So I just recommend starting with WooCommerce product categories and your subscribe and connect widget and then see what else is out here and what fits your specific site. Um, and then there are the footer widgets so there's four up to you can have up to four uh, footer widgets show up down here okay at the bottom of the website <clears throat> the way you control how many actually show up is if we go into uh, woo store and then theme options uh, and then we go to the footer customization right here you see your options footer widget areas you can choose to have zero one two three or four by default it's set to four I like to go with like three um, to, again it's completely uh, up to you uh, personal preference it is a good idea to at least have one uh, footer widget area section um, it helps uh, it allows you to have more navigation it's good for SEO and all that kind of stuff so I like to go with three so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the three and then click save changes alright so now if I go back into the widget section footer 1, 2 and 3 are all I'm going to uh, is what I'm using I'm not using footer 4 so again you can put whatever you want in the footer sections um, I'm just gonna go ahead quickly and put something in there so you can see uh, what it looks like uh, what should I put in there how about um, WooCommerce product tags so again just drag and drop it into footer one section if we go to the site if I have product tags created which I think I do they will show up now should show up down here there we go product tags so there's our first one you know and you just do this over and over or for footer two and footer three and put whatever um, whatever you want to put in there if I wanted to put Oops. <clears throat> the WooCommerce featured products widget in footer two and then go out back to the site you should see that show up right here if we scroll down so there's our featured products widget once the page loads here there we go and then let's go ahead and put our third widget in footer three so let's just put, uh, let's see here, how about, how about, uh, let's put a, let's do the WooCommerce product search widget. So this is just a widget that is specifically for, lets you search for products. Let's go back out to the site, refresh the page, and we should see our third widget show up. site's a little bit slow when I'm recording video so bear with me here so now we have our three widget section footer widget section set up we have our uh, right hand sidebar widget section set up 
again I encourage you to to um, play around with this um, there are a ton of widgets to choose from as your site grows you're gonna find that uh, you will be changing these often most likely um, but the functionality to do pretty much anything you can think of with your e-commerce site is available right out of the box uh, within one of these widgets so the main thing to remember is that the primary widget section here controls the right hand sidebar navigation and then the uh, footer widget sections control obviously the footer widgets and you can have up to four footer uh, widget areas um, again that's personal preference as to how many you want I go with three typically but uh, you can go with four two or one so that's it for the widget sections if you have questions that I did not cover uh, in this video just uh, contact me out on uploadwp.com and I'd be happy to um, go into more detail for you. And in the next video, we will uh, set up some of our pages, our blog page, our contact page, and so forth. And we will take another step uh, towards completing this um, demo uh, WooCommerce, uh, WooStore e-commerce site, WorldCupTees.com. So stick with us for that. My name is Adam with UploadWP.com, and we'll see you in the next video.